Good afternoon. I would like to start my report uh, with a quotation uh, which uh, you all know well as uh, yesterday. As uh, Malik uh, Sergei uh, yesterday already mentioned that that is the quotation uh, from uh, Tolstoy, which is uh, well known, from a five-year-old child there is only one step, and uh, from a newborn to a five-year-old there is a huge distance. And that is the quotation I used in my book. You may have seen it, Soci Sociology of uh, Early uh, Childhood. And uh, I will use the data from my book. And I added to this quotation another two quotations. I want to learn to paint like children by Pablo Picasso. And uh, mom, look, the boat is busy. It's uh, Korni uh, Chukovsky uh, from uh, the book from Two to Five. This is a, a famous uh, a Soviet fairy tale writer. Well, why I added those or two quotations uh, to the first quote quotation? Uh, yes, uh, the foundation of development of a person. Uh, is uh, shaped in preschool ch childhood, uh, in early childhood, and uh, what we add up during the rest of the life. This is not so much uh, compared to that uh, period of establishment of the person, of his uh, creation. Though life is quite long after five years, but we don't add much in psychology of development. That is the thought of Tolstoy. And what Picasso added to that? I want to learn to paint this uh, a creative potential. Uh, this is uh, creativity. Uh, the child is courageous and he is not uh, pressured if he give if he give him a chance or to show his courage courage his creativity uh, readiness or to master the life like Vasily uh, Davidov uh, says in his book. I'm using his uh, uh, using the quotation from uh, Dostoevsky. You need to become a personality. You need to make yourself a personality, and this making uh, we should take it into account. When we are talking about uh, the early childhood. Chukovsky uh, said, Mom, look, the boat is uh, basing itself. And there uh, was a, a young girl uh, standing on uh, near the sea with her mom, and she told her mom, uh, Mom, look, uh, the uh, boat is basing itself. And uh, when uh, we are uh, looking at the childhood, when we are enjoying that, looking at that period when un unexpected reactions of the child, which is connected to the way uh, they uh, see the world, how strange uh, this world him uh, seemed to him. And uh, we uh, also need to avoid uh, destroying uh, that uh, strangeness the perception of strangeness of childhood. So, but uh, uh, let us talk about sociology of education. What does this uh, mean? Sociology of uh, pre uh, early childhood. Well, sociology of early childhood in, in 
social, you know, sociology is something that uh, there are no uh, big uh, representative studies, or as there are few, unlike uh, the uh, studies uh, of teachers, school children and other participants uh, of the training process. There are no very few big stories about uh, preschool children. I think this is a, a really big challenge for us, and I will uh, uh, try to cover some of the points and cover uh, my understanding. Uh, social functions are very important for sociology. What are the social functions of education? It's a preservation and translation of the culture and then transfer to the new generations. This is socialization and mastering of the rules and norms of behavior and life. What we write about the importance of living each age stage. This is socialization, what it means if we talk within the logics of Lev Vygotsky and Vladimir Alexander Zaporozhets and others. Uh, this is uh, the cultural uh, uh, life in line uh, with each age period. And that is the goal of sociology to uh, track uh, whether it's happening or not. The third important function is of social uh, mobility and differentiation. And that's a very important point. I think uh, practical, we don't cover that uh, in the studies uh, of uh, preschool children. This is social inequality. And it's not uh, only happening in adult life. And to my mind, it's uh, already starts to happen at the first uh, stages uh, of uh, the child's life. And this is uh, this equality program, democratization, accessibility, fairness, etc. And well, uh, the main focus, I, my main focus will be on those topics in my presentation. Uh, one more important thing. Uh, Alexander Rulia wrote uh, that uh, the function forms its organ. First, in genesis, we have the functions emerging, and then in our brain, the areas uh, which are responsible for execution of those functions emerge. As I heard in the uh, lecture, I am not always attentive, and uh, uh, when I was a student, I, don't, I didn't always uh, pay attention, and uh, I, well, and, Emil, and uh, I heard in Emil game the same, he was saying the same about sociality, the social funds give birth uh, to the origins, social institute. The, we, they are the organs that execute the functions. Uh, now we're going back to uh, early childhood. Here uh, we have uh, two uh, powerful social institutes, uh, the family and the so, uh, preschool education. Uh, whether they uh, cooperate on execution and implementation of the function, uh, that is the uh, subject of sociology of early children. Uh, so uh, here you see uh, the uh, social uh, questionnaires and um, in kindergarten we started that work in 1997 and we started testing and interviews with children as well. Uh, so now so there will be three parts. The first part of the report will be connected with the satisfaction 
системой дошкольного воспитания. And uh, the satisfaction of uh, parents with the, the satisfaction of parents with the kindergarten, and the second uh, part uh, will uh, be uh, connected uh, with the situation in the family, and the third part, if you have time, about social strategies of behavior of uh, upbringing of the parents. So we ask them the question: uh, What were you guided by? when you chose the kindergarten. So here on the slide, uh, you see the answer. So a geographical location, whether it's far from a home or not. That is the main reason uh, of choosing a uh, certain um, kindergarten. Uh, now our uh, pre-school institutions are restructured and uh, we evaluate whether they meet the needs of the parents uh, which uh, uh, were uh, shaped uh, in the situation when kindergartens and preschool institutions uh, were accessible. Well, the second is a professional uh, level of the caregivers, the professional training level. And the third uh, answer is a good material and technical base, so good equipment. And, uh, well, uh, if we compare uh, the year 1997 and 2007, uh, if we compare those parameters, so there is not much difference, and the data is the same. But the next point is experimental non-standard curriculum or training program. Uh, today, as an important point, uh, it's an important point for 8% uh, of uh, parents. And, uh, and uh, in uh, t t 10 years ago, 22% uh, percent of parents thought like that. But this is an important uh, point, uh, which is connected with the introduction of standards in our preschool educational system and uh, also uh, other uh, school uh, standard exam introduction. I think that is a great shift uh, when the family uh, rejects uh, certain parent No, it's not full rejection when uh, they are not focusing on some innovative things. Uh, so we mean here the programs in the preschool education system. This is a serious issue for us that uh, tells us about tensions between innovative issues coming from the teachers and upbringing uh, 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 mentors. And another point is the uh, destruction of the families that are connected uh, uh, with the kid, but not innovations. Another point that I would like to pay your attention to, uh, small percent, percent though some additional service uh, have, uh, having the possibility to for the better access uh, of full, uh, to high education. If we uh, speak about uh, the parents with high profit, each eighth parent has the idea after the preschool education get uh, the, uh, the kid to the prestigious school. This moment in the preschool education is the promotion of social differentiation and stratification is a very important point uh, for the representatives of uh, powerful social groups, give the opportunities to the kids of better education and such kind of social uh, promotion in education system. So this is the data about information. Information about the kindergarten. So here we see the program, uh, the schedule, and professional qualification of pedagogics. So this is the core issues which are uh, interested, which are interesting uh, for the parents. 
and here on the left side you can hear the poor, poorly provided families, uh, uh, mothers uh, which uh, who up bring, uh, who brings, uh, who bring up uh, the kids alone. Uh, here is the program and social lift are very important. This is the hope that qualitative education will give uh, their kids uh, the possibility to have a vertical social mobility in the future. So a weak uh, social groups have high hopes on the state education as the possibility to have this social lift which gives that uh, the system of preschool education. So speaking about satisfaction, we got several issues connected with uh, satisfaction. If we see this data, the picture is quite positive. Uh, the major part is satisfied with the quality of preschool education, 84%. It's just uh, two and a half uh, percent uh, that uh, uh, people who are not satisfied with the preschool education. But let's cover this data in details. So these are uh, separated issues of provision uh, of the conditions uh, for the kid in the kindergarten. So hygiene issues, quality of medical conditions, uh, equipment ex access, uh, quality of the work of the pedagogics. So these are all grades uh, above four. But uh, let's uh, check uh, the lower uh, uh, row. So green, uh, uh, green color. Uh, this is uh, poorly poor families, red color columns, rich families. So here we have a very paradoxic situation. So uh, let's say a rich families are more satisfied with the quality of the preschool education and, uh, and uh, the structure itself. So there was a Q&A in more than 2,000 families in the system of state uh, kindergartens. So how we can interpret this data? There are some uh, social mechanisms when in the system of state uh, preschool education, uh, rich uh, families, let's say powerful social groups, have the possibility to give their kids uh, better uh, conditions and services on uh, uh, having the kid in uh, this preschool. Uh, centers. I do not want to politize, to make a kind of politics out of this, but this is a serious signal, speaking about the access of the quality of uh, preschool education for the uh, poor families and weak social groups. What about content of the task, of the uh, 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 lessons. So they are very positive, but if we speak about next slide, and this graph, we see the trends uh, uh, corresponding. The trend is the same. This, uh, this is uh, the red line. So these are different issues on the development and provision the issues for the kids. So, well, let's say a strong, uh, pow more powerful social group are more satisfied than the weak uh, social groups. The quality of education are considered to be a good one and uh, as well as uh, the conditions.
So as far as I do not have too much time, let's talk about the kindergarten and what does it give to the kid. So uh, with the, the age being in the kindergarten, the, the estimates of the higher age uh, grades are more positive and more expressed that are uh, considered to be the development issues in the early childhood, one, two, three years. Here the estimates are lower on the type of the development of the kid. And in this regard, the idea, this is a very complicated issue into the system of kindergarten. When, uh, uh, the earliest uh, time where kids uh, are still in the kindergarten, this is uh, earlier preschool groups. So here we have a gap and uh, these programs are not elaborated uh, for the uh, uh, earlier childhood. And, and here the parents uh, see the issue and the gap, and uh, a lot of uh, details are uh, skipped and missed. We need to make efforts for qualitative uh, provision of different issues, uh, uh, including education to the kids uh, in the earliest uh, time being in the kindergarten. Let me show me, uh, you just the uh, uh, latest outcomes. So this is, um, uh, let's say, powerful uh, social groups and uh, weak social groups. Uh, data, uh, let's uh, see the column first. Um, uh, my uh, brain uh, conditions, uh, brain abilities, mind abilities, intellectual abilities, adaptive abilities, Find new friends, uh, adaptation, new uh, environment, uh, being accurate, uh, being disciplined, uh, being insistent, uh, being uh, patriotic. So the level of uh, education, uh, the, uh, let's say, middle of education, and high education. We, there is a very different issue. When we speak about uh, conditions, mate material conditions, and level of education, they work seemingly uh, in different directions. The more, uh, so, uh, more educated social groups are more critical and more have more requirements to the content of the education. So as soon as uh, I have been uh, reminded twice about uh, the time, I guess I will probably not a lot of time for the third part, even for the, for the second part. But here I'd like to finish then. I'd like uh, to tell the following. One uh, thing is really important for me. So it's the uh, last one. So the upbringing strategy of tra strategies of the parents. So in this book, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, everything about the family. And uh, this moment is very important. There, were the, uh, there was the information about strategies uh, of upbringing. Uh, on basics on a Pirin, orientative uh, planning, executive, and control stages. As a result, uh, we made the factor analysis uh, of these results of the strategy of uh, upbringing of the parents, and we identified two factors which are very powerful. Orientation to the inner world of uh, the kid and uh, pragmatic orientations uh, of the parents. Cognitive uh, model of control and emotional inclusiveness. So why I want to finish with it and take time uh, from Nikolai Evgenievich.
Why is it so? So here we see the comparison of uh, married uh, mothers and not. The idea of full family as a special situation in the uh, upbringing, preschool kid, uh, is described here. Uh, please pay attention that um, uh, mothers of uh, girls married and boys, they are in the upper left uh, squad. They are oriented uh, into the inner world of the kid and the emotional inclusiveness while interaction with him. Speaking about uh, fathers, they are in the other side, on the right one. Uh, it is connected with a pragmatic orientation and cognitive uh, control of the behavior of the kid. These are two different strategies of the behavior. And in this regard, we can say that in full families, it, two, uh, two strategies are being realized on the gender, let's say, basics. So this, uh, uh, and this is considered to be a full upbringing with these two strategies. So this is kind of additional control for the kid or socialization, we can say it, and the system of interactions, which are added uh, with the gender factor. Please pay attention that mothers which are not married of uh, boys and um, of girls, they are in the different uh, uh, space, different dimension there, uh, let's say they have, uh, de uh, have a deformed traditional mother's position, they are, have the emotional inclusiveness and practical, um, uh, practical um, aims. They, uh, let's say, um, play a different uh, development of the kid in the unfold family. We need to take this into mind when we speak about the challenges in the system of the preschool education. The growth of the families is very important, uh, which, are, which do not have a father. This is a system of additional uh, point uh, for uh, the preschool education. It should uh, fulfill, let's say, this gap. 